tribute to former Nationals leader and Deputy Prime Minister Honourable Tim Fisher AC. Oh, good work. Sadly, yeah, yeah. Tim lost his battle with cancer last week, and today our Nationals WA leader Mia Davies will attend his funeral in Albury. Fittingly, Tim Fisher will make the journey to his funeral by completing one last train ride, and I'm sure and a Cobra hat or two will feature among the crowd of well-wishers there to pay final respects at the Albury station. It's not just the National Party that has lost a great role model, a great leader. Tim Fisher appealed to the masses. He was a soldier, a farmer, a politician, a leader, an ambassador, an author, a husband, a father, and above all, a person of great dignity and honour. Known as the boy from Borey Creek, Mr Fisher was leader of the National Party from 1990 to 1999 and deputy prime minister in the Howard government from 1996 to 1999. Tim was admitted as a Companion of the Order of Australia in 2005 and in 2009 was appointed as Australia's first resident ambassador to the Holy See, where he oversaw the canonisation of Australia's first saint, Mary MacKillop. Tim Fisher was genuinely loved by all sides of politics, a strong supporter of the National Party and a true champion for all of those who call regional Australia home. The Deputy Prime Minister, the Honourable Michael McCormack, paid tribute to Mr Fisher as a giant of Australia. But more than that, he was a champion for regional and rural communities, and regional Australia has no better friend than Tim. On behalf of the Nationals WA, I offer condolences to Tim's family, his wife Judy, sons Harrison and Dominic, valet Tim Fisher. Member.